are you are you sitting there on your phone uh, looking at the race and thinking why is my team not winning why why can no one feed 20k food or hatch one common monster uh, well good news uh, because my team has some open spots and if you are lucky enough for the randos who are leaving the team right now to get accepted uh, congratulations you are on your way to a 115 legend yeah, yeah, yeah. What is going on everyone, Rainback, and finally some news, finally some new stuff coming out. Um, today we got the team race, we have uh, the stuff that's coming out of Turinga with uh, the new Titan, Borjork, or Borjork, or whatever how you pronounce it, um, a bunch of new legends and a couple new epics, uh, we'll get into that, the new Nemesis is finally online as well, uh, I'm actually going to open a few frat chests as well i had some terrible luck last time i should not be doing this but at this point it's like you have to spend four weeks to get one of the, the generals i mean or like three weeks to get one of the generals i don't care that much i'll just open up some chests instead i mean 2500 it, it takes to rank up one one good general it's not worth it to me i'd rather just have some some chance for some gambling um i'm actually gonna throw 100 or so gems at the uh breeding event uh but most importantly we have spots open on our team and whoever gets to this video first um i'm currently not a lead on the team but we will be able to accept it uh, i'm guessing at least five people um so whatever candidates apply to this team right here uh our, the the name is clan the mob we need a few people and there are still about uh, i think a day and a half left before the rewards are no longer given to people that join more than halfway through um so right now we are as you can see going to win the race Hopefully, with uh, I, I'd imagine with the, the 14 laps, everyone gets a rank three um, shark. So, join me. Um, but I want to also first, first and foremost, I want to go into how people are currently getting seemingly what seems like a quick and easy 115 legends. And I explained this on previous videos, but I know I slowly get a couple more subscribers here and there. But I want to show you guys how a lot of teams are winning the race. Um, and I, I don't want to like make this so apparent because I don't have that many subs, but I think it's important that Social Point knows that this is what's been going on with just, not only race, this is what goes on with wars. People, people leave their teams, the entire team leaves the team, and they just take over a new one, and, and they have an easier pool, and, and it helps some people, but for, for the most part, it, it can't hurt teams that like want to play. Uh, I mean, I see a lot of shell teams, which is what we're going to get into, but I, I think it's important to know that this is kind of like a frustrating aspect of the game to me. Um, so, what I've done before, and I'll, I'll show you guys now. If you are, if you're by yourself, this will make it much much easier. If you're by yourself, all you have to do is go into the search teams, look up any noun you want. So, uh, just to say rain, actually, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you have to make sure the team on the left side has those three little fire symbols, or at least two of them. Uh, so you can look at this. Um, you want to kind of make sure it's an open team, um, so you can apply to it. Uh, but you also you don't want to go into their war logs. You just want to join them. If you're by yourself, just join teams. Just find out who's winning the race. I mean, it's not hard. Uh, just go into any 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 team, and if they're not looking, look at who's winning and see if you can get in their team. If not, start a new search, find a new clan. I I, I spent like two hours doing this first time, an hour spent last time, and I was working this week, so I was busy, so I didn't have time to do it. But that's really how you do it. If you're with the team, what you can do is try to find a shell team. It's a little tougher. Basically, you have to find a lot less people. You have to find like five or six people that aren't really doing much in the low levels and just take over their team. Not really take it over. You just join them and then you leave, leave a few people out who are like less active. Um, but that's really that's really my, my key to success here, guys. We, we've won five races in a row and we're going to win this one. So uh, there's, there's a tip if I can give anyone. It, it's really not hard. Just look up some stuff in the searches. Uh, look around for teams. Find out who's winning. That's all it is. Uh, let's open some chests. I, I I had terrible luck last time. I spent 3,500 coins on getting the, I'd say, top three worst legends in the entire uh, exclusive categories, which was uh, Shannara's bodyguard. Or, yeah, no, yeah, no Shannara's pet, who's, uh, in my opinion, top three worst uh, uh, legends that you can get from the... I mean, there's some. there are some that are, I really don't like. Darmus pet, I don't like at all. Um, Holter's pet is not that great. I mean, he's okay. I just not one that I'm I, I'm a fan of. 
Uh, so I'll open a couple of these, not a bunch, but um, I, I'm just hoping for one, one new thing. And if I get, if I open up three chests and they're all just cells, it's kind of a waste, but look at that. I mean, you can't say 10 cells is worth 350 uh, war coins. I mean, at this point, I could have just bought one. All right. Well, as you can see, I, I truly despise this because I just got 30 cells for a, a thousand coins. And honestly, guys, it, it please don't please. I, I highly recommend it's not worth it. If you're gonna do one, it's fine. Just for the gambling aspect, the chance pet is definitely worth the 1.5. Um, also, this pet is a little different. Actually, not too bad. And then the bodyguards, I do recommend Dharma's bodyguard. It has a, like an overpowered skill that. Uh, basically makes all enemies weak to fire and then attacks them with that fire attack, which is crazy. Uh, Nishan's bodyguard isn't too bad. Atulin's bodyguard isn't that great. I do like Shinar's bodyguard and Holter's bodyguard. If I had to recommend of those three, I'd go Dharma's bodyguard and then for support, Holter and then Shinar's for uh, more of an attacker. Um, that's just my quick take on that. Alright, so I got my living force out of the breeding event, which was kind of a surprise. It was only like my fifth try. And then I went like 15 or 20 trying to go for a couple of the Mothman, um, and I couldn't get a single one. I got a bunch of Flip-Lock and Scorch Peg, but you can't tell me that for bringing an Epic, you also have a chance to get another shitty Epic. Just give me the random ones. Don't give me the ones that everyone else has. Like I hate that. All right, so we got a random Epic. Hopefully it's one I don't have yet. Another Scorch Peg. Tell me it's another Scorch Peg. Van K. Mark, who is a terrible Epic. Yeah, I'll leave a spot open so I can do uh, pretty events and stuff. Alright, so let's talk about this Titan. Since I've had no luck with the chest, no luck with breeding, and all right, we already talked about team race. Um, oh, and if, if you do end up joining my team, my team, whoever it is that are currently our leads, whoever accepts um, who's in, I'll probably buy some uh, gem pack. I'll probably buy at least one gem pack in the next uh, few days so that someone gets some more coins. So that, that's nice for everyone too. Um, but Bojork, this is going to be the new Titan. Uh, they kind of explain the Titan uh, race or whatever it's going to be. Um, not very well, though. It might be a completely new event. It kind of seems to work in the way that the races work where you have a node, and then you complete the node, you get a chance to attack him. Um, but there's a very high... I'm guessing it could be like 20 million, maybe 100 million health. I really don't know what this is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to be at stages. I don't know if it's going to be levels. I don't know. If, I know it's gonna, he's going to gradually get tougher as you beat him. Um, and as soon as this comes out, I'll give you guys some tips and tricks on the best ways to take him out, whether it's DOTs, whether it's stuff like that, but we'll get into it. Um, he's got an ore trait, which is new. All status effects have a 25% less accuracy against it. This is basically like tough, or not tough. Yeah, tough. Hardened. Hardened is 20%. Uh, so this is new. Super high power, uh, pretty decent life, but again, this, this could be like a level 200, level 250. I really don't know what it is. Um, and then his stats, his skills, I, I'm really, I'm not crazy about it. Uh, if there's one thing that I, I would say that I like, it's he's kind of a support attacker uh damage boost and double or damage boost and wait that doesn't make sense damage boost and double damage is that a 300 percent and then a 200 percent versus wing monsters i i don't know what this is uh heavy damage uh two nature attacks one stun one bleeding and then an aoe bleeding 40 percent uh damage and then a nature and daze to all enemies which isn't too bad I, he's not crazy good but being the uh, whatever this Titan race is going to be, it's going to be a new legend, and I don't know if it's going to be for uh, given to the top team or what it's going to be. But this this one's this one's different, guys. I, um, so we'll get to that when we when we know more about it. This is a new. If you guys need to see it, this is just a new epic breeding event for I don't know somewhere probably late January. Nothing special here. There's one that I like here. Uh, Corum's actually not too bad of a support legend. T Shire's pretty good. Um, the rest of them are okay. Poster graph is okay too. Oh, so this is a premier legend. This isn't the Titan. Because there were some Titan skills that came up the other day. Maybe it's not him. Maybe he's just the premier, le premier legend. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Okay, I, there's just. Everything came out in the past like 24 hours. So uh, this is a new water looking uh, fuzzy guy. I, eh, I don't know. Uh, here's the metal, e metal nemesis. Uh, what is his name? Metal Nemesis, not up yet. The Inheritor? I don't know. The Inheritor? Is that a, that doesn't give me enough information. All right, so this is going to be the dog thing. That is going to be the progressive island. We've got a, a mafia-looking dog and like a fighter-looking dog. It's kind of cool. Then obviously the Nemesis Legend. Then a female, maybe. I don't know what this is. 
and then some kind of dead <laughs> dead dog maybe I don't know uh, so this is this is the Titan I, I swear this is this is I thought this was the Titan Predeter predetermined turn assign assign it's supposed to be a turn assignment not assignation this is interesting all nine VIP monsters come together in one chest. Open the VIP chest collection to get all nine VIPs at once. Um, if there's nine of them, they cost twenty bucks a piece. That's a hundred and eighty bucks. So I'm guessing this is gonna be a hundred fifty dollar chest. Um, uh, Shork. Some more information on Shork. And then this is where we were at the other day. Um, so this is. So these are some of the um, the the uh, status effects of the new titans I think so Muna stun mega stun mega freeze regular and exclusive possessions instant death countdown and then maximum health modifications damage and percentages reduced so I'm guessing that the status effects like bleeding and poison and sunburn and ignition those are going to be what you're going to need to do to affect these um, these titans and you can't drain stamina so you can't do that cooldown activation that might be possible but I'm really not sure yet. Um, so that that's really that was all on Turinga and hopefully this wasn't too long of a video I, I'm trying to edit this to make it not too long because I didn't do any gameplay um, But I did want to do a couple of the, the quick breeding events tell you guys that we have openings Clan the mob if you guys join this is I'll show you one more time Clan the mob whoever's lucky enough to get in uh, That's that's great um, <laughs> I, I, I can only give you guys tips. I can't make a bunch of teams that are in first place um, if I wasn't already on this team, I would have done a video yesterday, but we got on a team quickly um, of just how to like look around for teams, just looking up names and, and dumb stuff like that, and it really does help. Um, so that's really all I had. Uh, but thanks for watching. I hope this helped out a few people. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I will catch you guys later.